Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we're starting today talking about a tremor. If, if you see tremor as a short case or long case and you've been asked what are the type of a tremor, there are four types of a tremors. The first, the first type is a fine tremor, fine tremor, just like this. It is seen in thyrotoxicosis, in elderly, in nervous person, in anxious person, in female usually, and sometime in an unfamiliar situation. You see fine tremor. Okay? This is a fine tremor. The second type of a tremor is a coarse tremor. It is flabbing tremor, just like this, flabbing tremor. And we define flabbing tremor as a failure to maintain a tone, just like this. This is my hand, both my hand, with a normal tone. If, if the tone being failed to maintain, you get what? Flabbing tremor, just like a bird. The causes of Flapping a tremor is an end organ failure, mainly respiratory and cardiac. It is a coarse tremor called the flapping tremor. And you should put the patient in this position and wait for at least one, two, and some people say three minutes to elicit it, one or two flapping tremor. Okay? The third tremor is, is what they call it resting tremor. Resting is a tremor usually occur in elderly, those with Parkinson's disease, just like this. There are two types of resting tremor. This one type is, is, a, is a counting money, just like that. And the second type of tremor is, is while he is he is holding a screw and he, he tried to screw something, a nail, seen in Parkinson's disease. And usually those patients, you get, you get the glabular tab is positive. Glabular tab, this way, you hitting the frontal part of the face, the forehead, and you get a blinking, a blinking. Normally, a blinking is, is being stopped after one, two, probably the third tap of the, of the forehead. But in Parkinson's disease, he keep in and out, opening his eyes all the time, continuously. This is called what resting tremor. The fourth type of tremor is called, is, uh, is called, uh, A tremor on 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 landing the tremor, you see it in cerebellar tremor, intention tremor. You put something here, and you ask the patient to do this way to take it up, to take it out. This 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 piece of 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 uh, of substance, just like this. They do get a tremor on on flying. They fly normally, and they do get a tremor on landing. This is called the flabbing tremor, indicating cerebellar disease. Cerebellar disease is a, is, is, is a disease of the cerebellum. And one of the signs of cerebellar disease is what, uh, sorry, what is, is intentional tremor, not a flabbing tremor, an intentional tremor. This is intentional trauma. This is intentional trauma. You get a trauma on landing, on taking some object, on doing something fine, fine action of the, of the hand. You get what? Intentional trauma. Therefore, the trauma are four types. Fine trauma, flabbing trauma, and you get, you get resting tremor in Parkinson's disease, and the fourth type is the intentional tremor 
you get it in cerebellar disease just like this. Thank you.